plan to do some resetting um, my mom just left my apartment yesterday and went to her new place um, in Texas so today I'm just gonna be kind of cleaning up and getting my space back together um, since I've been hosting all week um, my hair is deep conditioning right now and I am gonna just go ahead and wash that out do my hair and then probably clean up some and i want to record a few videos because i'm in texas and i haven't recorded any videos i haven't put up any videos so i do want to make sure i put some content out regarding that but i'm just enjoying this little coffee i made it's okay um i don't really like nut milk creamers but i did get this peppermint whipped cream method on top to put on top but it's not really like creamy enough but I do have like a medium roast coffee so that might be why but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get my life because I do not like being on camera like this so. hey guys welcome back to my channel and I really should be saying welcome back to myself because I've literally have not done a video probably a year to the date like I have not messed with YouTube um I just life was just life man, and I just was going through the motions of life but I'm back, hopefully, for good. Um, I was watching a YouTube video or whatever. But um, I have moved to Dallas. So I'm in a whole new location. And life is good. And life is good. good and life is good for the most part. So, um... Today is Sunday and I'm actually just trying to reset. I've been down here for probably a month and a few weeks, right? Um, as of now, I came on September 18th, I believe is when I moved in. So I've been here since the end. Today is November 6th. So yeah, so today I'm just doing like a little Sunday reset. Um, my mom actually just moved down here too, so she's been here for the past week. So I'm um, just washing and I need to clean up because my kitchen is a disaster. But um, yeah, and Milo wants to play. So yeah, I'm about to just clean up real quick. Um, I do want to talk to you guys about some things, just about like how it got here, how it was planned, like how it was just meant to be. So, yeah, let me go ahead and clean up and then I'll catch back up with you guys. Nothing like a clean kitchen. Yes, clean everywhere. So I just gotta do some laundry um, and clean up a little bit out here, but yeah. So, you know, the kitchen is not technically clean. See, like that candle. Oh, wow.
so it is no longer pumpkin spice season i don't think but that's what we got burning here um i also need to change the time because the time did go back hmm I'm trying to figure out how to do this oh, set clock no uh, i guess you're going back an hour oh so it's 250 252 hey guys so i just wanted to check in and give you guys a little life update and just kind of let you guys know where i've been and what's been going on so the last time i did a video i had just moved into my own apartment and um started a new job post pandemic um i just feel like the pandemic has really like shaped our minds and helped us see what was important to us help well help me specifically not like invest and drain myself in a job because they're not going to do that for me they're not going to care about me when it's time to cut people so make sure you taking care of your mental health Make sure you have that work-life balance, using your PTO, all that good stuff when it comes to a job. So, um, I had just got my first apartment by myself, and um, I was working for my high school as an alumni coordinator, which was pretty cool. Um, also, I feel like it just was kind of like weird because I kind of used to walk those same hallways. Um, and I, I truly enjoyed it, but... It was a job that allowed me to be creative. It was a job that allowed me to, you know, get some experience on my resume, but it just was not paying enough money for me. So, um, I didn't go looking for a new job, but my boss from my last position um, that I had when we got laid off in 2020 hit me up and was like, you know, are you still looking for a job? And I'm like, uh, I kind of just started a job um but what is your job hey and her job was paying twenty thousand dollars more than what i was making so i left um and this job even required a covid vaccine and i'm like very like conspiracy theory conspiracy theorist like i'm very like into all that stuff so i'm like i do not want to get that vaccine but maybe i got that vaccine because i wanted that money but um anywho um the job was cool like super super chill like literally couldn't complain like only had to go in office one day a week like it was probably like one of the best jobs i wish i would have had that like fresh out of college and it was for a reputable company like known across the world so i wasn't like well i don't know about known across the world not known across the country so um yeah so i was doing that what i was doing there i basically was kind of working in the same field i worked in talent acquisition prior to the pandemic and what i was doing for this company i worked for which is an insurance company um i was helping them kind of like source talent setting up job interviews a lot of admin work stuff on the ta side of things um <laughs> The position just was not allowing me to grow and really step into the space that I wanted to. I saw that they had an issue. So the issue was this company is a big company and they never used to have problems like getting people to apply or wanting people to work for them. But because of the pandemic, people like value different things. So they were really struggling and they didn't really have a good social media presence. Um, they weren't really telling people why to come work for them. So I kind of put a, I put together a presentation, basically like a marketing and social media plan to help them get over that hump and get people to apply for their jobs. And they were like, oh, Sierra, this is nice. This is awesome. Let's talk to other people about it. Kind of just went radio silence dead after that. So I'm like, all right, they don't care about me. Um, and I'm like, okay, I kind of just brushed it off. I'm like, you know, everybody's busy. They got a thousand job openings. So I kind of just didn't worry about it. I'm like, okay, whatever. Maybe it's not to be meant to be, but I'm like, oh, I really want to work in a social media job. 
and like do something more so on the marketing side and it was always kind of sitting in the back of my head like oh that would be perfect for me to kind of do something in the marketing realm within TA because I've been working in TA since I got out of college so fast forward a few months because I wasn't there that long but um my grandfather was actually very sick so um he was actually about to pass away so he was living in Huntsville Alabama and I hadn't been to see him he had only been living there two years and I hadn't been down there so I'm like I'm gonna go down there and you know see him um and I drove down there and as I was just driving like not that I would want to live in Huntsville but it was just like a different kind of vibe and I'm like I don't want to stay in Michigan anymore so as soon as I kind of got back I was just thinking like yeah I don't want to stay here then he passed away so that was just like a slew of emotions had to be around family that I'm not really around all the time that was a slew of emotions um and then on top of all of that I let my social anxiety keep me away from an opportunity that I really wanted and yeah basically that was just like another blow so at that point I'm like fuck Michigan I don't want to stay here no more or whatever so I'm like, I just started applying for jobs like every day, every day, every day. And then I got into therapy. My therapist was kind of like, all right, so when you want to move? I'm like, well, my lease is up in three months and I'm trying to be gone by the end. She's like, okay, cool. So I can get you on a plan so we can have you prepared and ready to move in three months. So then we kind of start working through some stuff and she's like, do you really want to move or are you kind of just running from all of these emotions that you're having right now? And I'm like, part of me wants to move, but I definitely feel like that kind of like pushed me, like trying to get away from the mundaneness of Michigan and just wanted to see something different, honestly. So um, I kind of just like dissolved the thought of moving. Like I'm like, okay, whatever. I wasn't getting any callbacks from jobs. So um, it was this one job that I applied for, which I have now. It was literally, the same company that I worked for, but in Texas. And the job was social media for talent acquisition and employee experience. So this is exactly what I presented to my team back at home that they took for granted. Texas was looking for exactly what I wanted to be. So I applied and they loved me. Like they pretty much gave me the job on the first interview. My boss was like, I love you. You literally are exactly what we need. I want you to meet with my boss. So I met with him and he's kind of just like, okay, well, when you start, you're gonna sit here, X, Y, Z, didn't ask me any questions. So it was kind of just like, almost like perfect. Like it literally just planned itself perfect for me. And, um, they were paying a lot more than what I was making, probably. So they offered me, they offered me about $25,000 more. Yeah, $25,000 more. But um, I decided to be a big girl and negotiate that and I ended up getting a lot more. So the wife was deaf. The move was definitely worth it. I felt so good about negotiating. And if you are a person who never negotiates your job offer, you kind of just take it, stop doing that. Because the worst they can say is no. And like, from now on, if you ever get a job offer, ask for at least a little bit more. And they probably gonna give it to you. And if they can't, they're probably gonna get you as close as to their, the number that you're asking for, if possible. So yeah, I just kind of feel like I had so much going on and it kind of just perfectly planned out. Like even my apartment is exactly kind of like what I envisioned. I made a vision board at the beginning of the year and the same little key fob that's on my apartment key was on my vision board. So like even down to the key, it's what I wanted. I wanted a Jeep Wrangler. I got my Jeep Wrangler right before I moved down here. Like literally everything I wanted planned out perfectly for me. So 
So, um, only thing is like, I just, I get a little lonely sometimes down here, but my mom just moved down here, so I'm not like completely by myself. I also have a cousin down here who's around my age, so we've hung out, but like, I don't wanna kind of be like, all right, let's go somewhere every day. Not that I wanna go somewhere every day, because one, I'm in grad school too, so that takes a lot of my time. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much where I've been. Um, I don't really know, like, the message in it, but I do want to let you guys know that get away from your hometown. I just feel, like, so much, like, lighter here in my spirit. Um, it's, like, not cold here. I mean, like, that, it has its days where it's cold, but then it'll turn around and go right back up to 70, 80 degrees. So... I don't have that feeling of like seasonal depression that I get at home. So I definitely think there's more pros than cons. Like get a little homesick, miss my family. Um, my boyfriend is not here. So that was like bad in itself. So long distance relationships, you already know how that can be difficult. But it was a lot of tears like that first day like where I was completely alone but like now I'm just kind of like used to it I got my routine I go to the gym um try to keep my space as clean as possible like it's just me and my dogs but I, I love it honestly like obviously I want to you know meet people and that can be kind of tricky for me just like having like social anxiety but found me a new therapist and she's a CBT therapist which stands for cognitive behavior therapist so she's gonna give me like the steps because I'm like well I want to do this but I freeze up and I don't know what to say I don't know what to do she was like look even if I gotta make you a cheat sheet we gonna get you out of this so like I'm super excited to work with her I just but yeah life is on the up and up the money is honestly amazing like I can pay all of my bills and still have the amount that I would have in a check back home left after I pay all my bills so it's like literally so worth it so worth it so if you think about leaving your hometown definitely leave your hometown um it's just something about getting away at least for a season like if I didn't like it here okay I signed a year lease find a job and go back home but like I don't think I'm going home anytime soon, honestly, especially since my mom just moved here. So now I'm working. Gotta get my dad's move too. But um, it's nice. I love it. And I honestly can't wait to explore, um, you know, Dallas even more.